Hi, it's Rob from Brush and Bulkum. Tonight I'm going to be doing a short video on how to build your own wet palette and how to use them. Now it's a little bit different, there won't be much painting involved, but it'll show you what kind of things you need to make one and how easy they are to use. So the first thing we start with is a plastic tray like this with the lid. We want the lid so that that keeps it all wet inside. We're going to be using some greaseproof paper, which is like baking parchment. We're also going to be using some standard kitchen towel, whatever kitchen towel you've got, that works fine. That's two pieces folded up so that it fits in the base of the tray. And some water, thanks to the Mortal Well magazine for the water pot there. Okay, so you've got your tray, this is just from a fast food carton, so this probably comes with sweet and sour or something like that in it. And all we're doing is we are folding the paper towel, putting that so it's flat in the bottom of the tray. Squash that down as much as you can. So the paper towel flat in the bottom of the tray there, all you're going to do is use your water and pour that into the tray. You've got a decent amount in there so it completely soaks the paper towel, or the kitchen towel, whatever you want to call it. You want to make sure that it's all completely wet. So if you pour too much in there, what you're going to do is tip that back into whatever you've put your water in. I'm just using the painting pot because it was the closest thing to hand. So you pour that back in there and then you have your wet palette basically there. Now we're going to use the greaseproof paper. We're just going to put that flat onto the wet paper towels. Flatten that down. What that does is that allows a small amount of water through so that when you put your paints onto it, it will keep the paints wet. And because you put the lid on there, that'll keep them, for the best part, wet inside there. Now they do tend to separate if they've been in there a while, so that is something to be aware of. But if you're working on stuff during quite a warm day, the wet palette is a really good way of keeping the paints wet while you're working on them. It stops them from drying out quite too quickly. Also, it saves having to keep the pot open for a long period of time. So here we're using a spot of my fist on red. We just put that on there with an older brush. And now I'm pointing the newer Citadel medium layer brush. I use my mouth to point the brush because I find that gets me the best point on it. Not too sure whether or not you can recommend that because you are going to be ingesting some paint. So probably not best to do that, but whatever method you use to get a good point on it, use that. And you just put a little bit of paint onto the tip of your brush and a wet palette. And you can use that. And then you're just spreading that onto the shoulder pad or whatever you're painting. Using a little tiny bit on the tip each time. And if the point starts to go on your brush, just reform that point, get a little bit of paint back on the tip there. So as I say, using this method, it does stop your paint pots drying out so quickly. Like I've been using this for about 10 years or so. I think it's like the third tray that I've used for my wet palette because they do tend to break down after a while. But until that point, they work fine. They'll keep your paints wet, make them last longer. As I say, saves having a pot open so they dry out too quick. So you can see here on the videos, this is exactly how I'm painting when I'm doing the videos usually. Just applying a small amount of paint from the wet palette each time. Now if you're doing a large area or a bulk painting, obviously you want to put more paint back down there. Okay, so we're using an older medium layer brush here with quite a flat point on it. Got a bit more paint on it and I'm just showing you here that you can do small amounts or larger amounts obviously. Here I use this brush to fill in block areas a lot quicker. You can see from using the proper pointed Citadel medium layer brush. You can see how that works. It takes a lot longer than using this wider, flatter, more knackered medium layer brush. You can see they can cover a lot more area a lot quicker. Which is why I don't throw brushes once the, pit, the point on them has gone, because there's still always a use for a paintbrush until it's pretty much wrecked. So that is how you're using the wet palette, generally. Same way as you would do when you had the paint pot open. As I say, this method keeps your paints wet, stops them drying out, so it's a lot better in the long run. 
Now we're just going to show a little bit of colour mixing. I'm going to use a little tiny bit of Cadian Flesh Tone from Citadel. So closest miniature to hand when I'm doing this is one of Warlord Games Lance Connect. And he's got this Y hander. I'm just going to be painting up his face roughly. I'm not going to be using any shades on this. So I'm just going to give that a quick coat of Cadian Flesh Tone. This is purely by example. Because I would either, if I'm painting it, I would use shades to give it the detail. But as it stands, I'm actually using Citadel Contrast to paint these because there's 170 of them, I think I've got something like that. So the contrasts are a lot handier to paint quickly. So this is entirely just to give you a demonstration of mixing the paints in the wet palette. So now we're just going to add a little bit of Vallejo White. You can get it out there. Second time lucky. There we go. So just use a little tiny spot of the layer white there, next to the little tiny spot of Cadian Flesh Tone. I'm just taking a little tiny bit of that. I always mix it with sort of the end of it, leave half of the paint that you're using in the original colour. So if you mess up, you've still got some of that original colour. You don't have to open up the pot again. And just lighten it that down. I'm going to do some quick highlights on this, on the cheekbones and the nose, on his eyebrows. As I say, ordinarily you would have the shade on there as well, but for the purpose of this video, just mainly to show you how they're being mixed. So now adding a little bit more white to it. So on that little spot of Cadian Flesh Tone there, you're going to have Cadian Flesh Tone, then you're going to have the first white mix, a little bit of that left, and also the second white mix after that. Now it's just to make sure that you've always got a little bit of the previous colour left, just in case you go over part that you don't want to. So you can see the colours here, and you're just mixing it like that. And that is the end. Thanks for watching. I hope you've enjoyed the video and found it useful. And if you have, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any future content. Also, think about subscribing to some of our other social media linked below. Thanks very much. If you like the channel and you like our content, please consider buying us a coffee at our coffee page linked below. Thanks very much.